Hello everyone, this is I, Henry Dude, start welcoming you guys back to uh, a different kind of video. It's a bit of an unboxing, a bit of a collection, and a bit of a story. So, um, I was at London Film and Comic Con on the Sunday, and I normally go Saturday, but I went Sunday this day, because, well, basically... All 12 of them. No, sir. Ah! All 13! So, yeah. Most of the Doctors were there, well basically all of them, apart from Whitaker and Stonewall and McCoy, for some strange reason. So they were all there, and uh, well I'll tell you what happened. First off, we'll start the day. Today started off like a really great day, and I took about £280 with me, because I do work full time now. Um, I, won't uh, I won't bore you with that, but when I got in, the first thing I got when I saw it, was Toshiko figure. Well, maybe they aren't creatures at all. And now you may be thinking, why would you get a to why would you get a Tosh figure? And mainly because I really like Torchwood. I think it's a really great series, and also Tosh is my favourite character in Torchwood, mainly in series two. Um, for, I probably think Owen the favorite character in series one, but series two Tosh is amazing, and I really like the figure, even though her face looks almost nothing like the actor of Toshiko. I can't remember her name, but it looks really good. And also, right next to this, there was a Weevils figure, but this is only seven pounds, and the Weevils figure was ten pounds. And you'll feel, you, and at the time, I thought I'm not spending ten pounds on a Weevils figure, but you'll see later down the line. I spend money on much stupider things. So, a Toshiko figure, and I thought that was bloody amazing, for some reason. And on the back, I also did find, see, find the Blowfish, but I didn't buy, pick it up. But the Blowfish was there. Then I went ahead along, and I did bring Louis Spooner with me, and my mate Wills, who normally comes with me anyways. And, um... I saw this! That was a Fire Emblem, uh... Shadows of Valencia, Echoes, it's the special edition, and I got this for £65, and you're probably thinking, wait, what? I know, when the normal game is £40, but the special edition is uh, normally around £7, so I saved about £5. <laughs> this isn't where things end for us. I don't want to stop helping. £10, so I saved about £5 on this. Um, and it comes with all the little bits and bobs with it. Um, and I wasn't planning to get this till much, much later, because I'm still on Fates. Um, but I'll do a little unboxing of it now. And don't worry, Doctor Who fans, I will go on to the Doctor Who story and how all this stuff happened, right? But just... So yeah, after I bought the Fire and Mercos thing, uh, I went ahead and I wanted to buy a sword. Some of the main things I wanted to get when I went to the convention was a sword, a figma, of, I don't know, maybe Asuna or uh, Ryuko from Kill a Kill. And I went over and I saw a guy who was selling figmas. So I was like, oh, how much is this Ryuko figure? £100. I like Kill a Kill. I'm not spending £100. I'll spend under £100. So I'm probably going to get the one for £80. I know that's £20, 20 pound less. And that's not much. But, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I did get a sword, and it was this one. Now, I went to two places to get a sword, so there was, there's two ways you can get a sword. There's one that is like an actual blade that they made in a factory, um, and I went to that one first, and you had to be 18 to get it, um, and I didn't know this, well I did, but I was trying to get away with it. Um, so I went up to them, and he packaged it up, and before the guy gave it to me, he said, oh, have you got ID? And I was like, no, I don't have ID because I'm not 18 yet. And so he was basically wasted his time by wrapping it up. And I wanted to get out and play with it, or use it, or I shouldn't have said play with it. Oh, I've just really ruined my career there, haven't I? Fuck! <laughs> but yeah, you know, so... Um, I know I wanted to get this blade because it is the Repair used by Asuna and Sword Art Online, even though the blade here is... 100% not a rapier. I'll show you what the actual thing is supposed to look like. As you can see, here it is in its smaller version and with a hand as well. So it should look like roughly like that, and it kind of does. It's got the little 
blue nubs on each side and this is a foam one as you can see it's not an actual steel one like the other one you can see it's a lot thinner here uh, what rate you're supposed to look like and it's a lot longer than this one but hey ho what you're going to do it's it's rapier and rapier's cool <coughs> <coughs> And I got this one for £15 instead of the £70 that the man was going to sell me for. So I saved, you know, about £55 with this. And I'm very happy about that. And I got a sword, even though, as you can see up here, I had to have a tag on it to show that it was cosplay safe. And it has scratched the top of it and scratched off the paint on that side and on this side. So not even a day out and it's already, like, all scratched up. I'm not very happy about that. But oh well. So after that, we tried to find some of the people, but we couldn't because the queues were ramshackle. Like seriously, David Tennant's one and Peter Capaldi's one were so long. We saw Matt Smith stand up and walk away, and uh, we David Tennant actually rushed past my mum and my friend Emma, mum's friend Emma, who was came with us. We rushed past us and also Peter Capaldi rushed past me and Tom Dix and I'll show you a picture well, somewhere in there there's a wild Tom Dix there he is oh sorry no I've lost him there he is again there's the wild Tom Dix Yeah, because you know, me and Tom Dix are, you know, that close man. Totally, bruv. In it. Let's do a, do a crossover sometime, you and me. Yes, yeah, do it. Sweet. Right. Um, so, took that video, um, and I unfortunately didn't get an autograph at that time. So, I still went around and looked for a few things, and. Uh, I believe I got this next, and it's a, and it's a few more Doctor Who figures, and I saw this and I knew I just wanted it, even though it was fifteen pounds. It is an Ironside Dalek, and when these originally came out, when they were about eight pounds or how much they were when they originally came out, I didn't want them because at that time I thought these weren't proper Daleks. I wanted the bronze Daleks. I wanted all. I wanted the new. Um, whatever they're called, Daleks, the Rainbow Power Ranger, Sailor Moon Daleks, whatever they're called, Paradigm, that's it. But now I can sh now I look and look back and see how cool the Ironside Daleks are. They're a military green, they've got like all these things around them all, uh, on its mesh, and instead of like a Dark Insignia, it's got the Great Britain logo, or Great British flag. And I thought that was really cool. And while I was over there, I thought I might as well get some other Doctor Who figures because I normally go there to get Doctor Who figures. That's where I got the Jadoon uh, originally and the Sycorax. So I got this Matt Smith in David Tent clothing and it has got a few bumps and holes in it, but I hope that's for sculpting and not just this guy sold me a reused figure. But they're probably all reused figures. But <coughs> the head sculpt for the first Matt Smith, you probably can't see because it's not going to focus correctly is it but my camera is a bit bad anyways so but the face sculpt looks really good for Matt Smith and it's the series 5 face sculpt so it's not as good as the series 6 one but you, you can tell it's Matt Smith it definitely looks like him and it's really great even though for some reason he's got cuts and scars all over his face that's probably when he's been you know used by a little kid or something and of course it is the David Tennant body so it is really good. So it's nice to just have another uh, Matt Smith variant because he's probably the most varianted figure doctor, even though Capaldi had the most costumes. Pff, you never know. And while I was there, I thought for two pound, I might as well get this, and it's an uh, Kawaii Titan uh, regenerated fifth doctor. And for two pound, when because these things are like three pound for for a rare figure, for two pound for might as well go for it so I've got a little friend for the abomination that is the war doctor anime figure with the fifth doctor and he doesn't look too bad 
doesn't look like he can be an anime, he just has anime eyes for some reason. But you know, he's cool, he's cute, and he's he's lovable, he's in the eye. Little Peter Davidson. Would you care for some tea? With Met, I think it's time to show you finally my autographs. Dr. Puppet was there. Her head's actually smaller in real life than you see on the videos. I know that's a weird thing to say, and I'll show you a picture of me and her. Yeah, and in real life, her head is much smaller. And you point out like a puppet then in real life and that was a bit weird um, But I got this and she originally just signed the back of it and I was like no sign the front of it show your work This is a lovely bit of artwork and seriously Even though you you're not very confident about your work your work is actually amazing. It's up there with some of the best Stop-motion Doctor Who things out there it's up there with like Batman March It is really good and like how you've done it with puppets it's really good and she also told me it's coming out hopefully at the end of September or start of September somewhere around September she said for the final episode I'm very excited about that because most of the episodes are really really good really good it's only like a few of them that aren't great but most of them are really really good and also Nardo Nardo our great Nardo saviour so yeah and you may think oh Henry said the only autograph the autographs there, I really want to go get there and even have a ticket somewhere for Peter Capaldi and I was the 545th person to get that ticket and by the time I got that, they were still doing the diamond passes, right? Peter Capaldi had to keep going away and doing like little photo shoots and stuff so people with the diamond passes hadn't even, some of them who bought that hadn't even got to meet Peter Capaldi so people like me, who haven't got the diamond passes, who just wanted to meet him, couldn't so, and hear my brother laughing, that's very great, very funny. So I didn't actually get to, or to get any autographs from Moffat, or Dick Davison, or Capaldi, because their queues were just far, far too long. It was so packed this time. But around that time that I um, met Dr. Puppet, I had, well I think just before, uh, just before I met Dr. Puppet, I got one of these, not that one. It's this one, and it is where I met Peter Davison. So there's me and Peter Davison. He was quite a nice fellow, even though I shared only a couple of words with him. Um, but yeah, he was he was quite he was quite a cool fellow, even though basically he said to me was I can't even remember what he said to me apart from oh we need to stand here. Um, so there's me with my sixth Doctor, twelfth Doctor mishmash with. Uh, Sunglasses, where it should be the Sonic sunglasses. You may be wondering why you, you showed us a picture of you with the Peter Capaldi coat. So, why are you wearing the Sixth Doctor coat? Mainly because all the doctors are going to be there. I want to make an impression. And also, the coat that I got for the Twelfth Doctor was a few inches too short. So, that's one of the reasons well. But there's me, Davison, and I'm very happy about that because I finally got to meet him instead of, just, instead of just saying, Oh, I've been in the same room with Pete Davison. I've now actually gone over and met him. And I have no idea what my fingers are doing over there. Very weird. But yeah, that was very cool. And basically then for two hours we did nothing but wait around. Because there was nothing much to do. Because this showcase um, this time didn't have much. So then I went ahead and met good old McGann. Yeah boys. Didn't remember me at all. Well probably did. But you know, most likely didn't. So there's McGann as you can see. It's Mr. McGann. Hello, Charlie Tardis. That's important. McGann. He looks cheerful as always. And I actually, um, he, sh he was shocked when he saw me. Because, as you can see, I'm a Doctor fan, dressed up as a Doctor Who fan. Do you want to know what I asked him? I said, are you a bad guy in Holby City? And spoilers if you watch Holby City, I don't, but Mum wants me to ask him about this. Is he a bad guy in Holby City? Spoiler warning. He said, yes. He said, one of the good guys. Ah, see. Let's watch you there. 
He's one of the good guys. He says, no, 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 totally one of the good guys. I think he's just misunderstood. So he's a good guy who's misunderstood. So he thinks he's a good guy. Or well, he's doing the great good, but he's misunderstood. Kind of like Thanos. Are you the Thanos? Just to show off some of the last few things that I've got. I got these prints that were rolled up in my bag. Here are some prints that are rolled up in my bag that I got from the actual artist. You can see the Doctor Falls um, with Pearl Mackie, Peter Capaldi, Matt Lou, because Michelle Gomez and John Sim. It's only worth falling out. That was, even though that was from twice upon a time. Uh, and there's a Cyberman. It looks really cool. And this sort of looks very Macbeth-like. But I like it, and it has Paul McGann, War is Hurt. Ooh, because John Hurt. And Night of the Doctor. And these are both £5. And if these weren't creased, I'd put these in the wall, but they're creased and it annoys me. I'm like, why? And I probably should show you some more Doctor Who stuff before you get bored. Oh my bejeebus. You're prob you, some of you people who don't know this, what this is, oh, it's another TARD. Some of you who do know what this is. You're probably like, oh my friggly frack, how's he got that? Now, the guy was selling this for reduced, right? Because it was originally 120, he was originally selling it for 120 because it's 125 on the internet, or 150, or 200 on the internet. Uh, but he was selling it for 100. Um, I didn't have 100 on me, so I said, will you take 70? Took a minute or so, but he said yes, he'll take it for 70. As you can see, there is dust, so he has obviously opened it, and it didn't get the heart and figure with it because the heart and figure was an extra 40 pounds. I'm like, what the fuck? But I've got the TARDIS, and this door can actually close all the way because there's no thing behind it stopping it. And it's another TARDIS, so that's always good. And it's the heart of TARDIS, so it's really cool because it's got all the weathering around the sides and around the back. And some dust on top from where it's just been sitting there. But definitely, and it's not, It's really cool to have another classic TARDIS that the top isn't broken. Um, and also, it works! Yeah, but you're probably thinking, oh, so you didn't spend £70 on a sword, but you sw spent it on a TARDIS. Yeah, I realise that as well. But, it's a TARDIS, so yeah, TARDIS, woo! Like, you got to love a good old TARDIS, especially when it's the Hartnell TARDIS. And I also finished up with some Doctor Who audiobooks, because I couldn't find these anywhere, and I only found these right near the staircase. But, um, they weren't selling any, like, ones in order. So I really wanted to get Time War 1 or maybe Dark Eyes 2, but they didn't have it there. They had Ravenous, I think that's how it, or Ravenous, however you pronounce it. Um, I can't read at all. Mm. Extermination. We obey extermination. And um, the host productions, shout out to him, really sold me on both of these. I am Bright. I was originally going to get all three stories with this, but instead I decided to get this. But Iron Bright Sun is like such an interesting Doctor Who story because it's set like on the underground Thames where like if you don't I knew this because I watched a documentary about bridges I know I'm such an interesting person but they created a bridge um, under the Thames like before bridges but only one person can get through and this is like a story about ghosts with it so this should be interesting and it's one of the one of the audio stories with the new design that looks uh, well it's different and the time war box set too i'm probably needing to get the first time war box set but i've got this and they've got a woman who sort of looks like perry for some reason that's a bit weird but i was very sold on this and i really need to get a lot more big finish so let's open this big big baddie up shall we <clears throat> Because I really enjoyed the John Hurt. Oh, that feels very cheap. Uh, that doesn't feel like the glazy gloss ones of the Dark Eyes. That just feels like paper. Oh, it doesn't feel that bad. I'm talking. Oh, great commentary here. Me just talking about paper. As you can see, another photo ripped right from uh, Night of the Doctor. 
We have a female Time Lord and person who looks like Perry. Lords of Terror. Also an Ogron. We have Planet of the Ogrons with Dalek Sec. And that is Dalek Sec because it has Dalek Sec's uh, logo. And we have a woman, whoever you are. Planet of the Ogron with an Ogron wearing the Eighth Doctor's costume. We have In the Garden of Death. That sort of reminds me of In the Night Garden. You know, that whatever that children's show was with like, what, Higgle Piggle? I don't know. And the last one, Jonath, or uh, oh, probably whatever this is. Uh, again, another photo ripped right from Night of the Doctor with the exact same photo with that woman. So, yeah. Time War! Yay! So, something me and my mum both got. Um, you get a t shirt and a hoodie for uh, £25, even though I've got loads of hoodies. So, me and my mum decided to go. 50-50 on this, and I got a t-shirt, I got one of Arrow, and Slade Wilson, or, or Deathstroke, you probably can't see it, but there it is, and my mum got one of The Flash, because we're both into the Arrowverse at the moment, and so yeah, that's basically all I got, and now enjoy some pictures that I took from the event. So, yes, anyways, thanks all to all of you uh, for watching this video. And special thanks to Tom Dix for appearing in my video. Because uh, uh, I totally asked him if he wants to be in this. And um, sorry to Ozzy from uh, Seven Who Knots. Because um, I did want to meet you, but I really couldn't find you at all, even though I saw Tom Dix about eight times. <laughs> that was quite saddening that I didn't get to meet you because you seem like a pretty cool fella. Um, hopefully next Comic Con I'll meet you, but you never know. And yeah, um, so everyone else there who was, who was there, thanks. Uh, and if you saw me, say so. See if you want. Well, no, it's up to you. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.